Reaper 5 has been out for 13 months, and in that time we've had countless bug fixes, improvements, and new features. In this video, I'm listing some of the best features since the 5.0 release. In the 5.17 and 5.18 updates, we got a handful of actions for writing automation that professional users have been requesting for years. These actions allow you to write the current value of whatever automation you're changing to the start of the project, end of the project, or within the time selection. These actions are so simple, but so helpful. It's amazing how we ever got anything done without them. Check out my What's New in Reaper 517 video for over five minutes dedicated to this topic. Those automation actions made way for the Latch Preview mode in Reaper 522. Latch Preview lets you suspend any automation that's on the track or the entire project. You can try out new settings and then punch in using those actions I talked about earlier. It's an incredibly fast way of working and a pleasure to use. See it in action in either my What's New in Reaper 522 video or automating a song in Latch Preview mode. With the Reaper 5.20 update, we got our hands on the MIDI notation editor. It's a pretty huge feature to add for free, and it's made a lot of users very happy. I don't use the notation editor myself in my daily life, but it's too big of a feature for me to ignore on a list like this. So check out my Reaper 5.20 update video where I have an in-depth overview of all the new features. Introduced in the 5.11 update, Subprojects let you embed other projects in your project as audio items. You can also non-destructively freeze items and groups of tracks as new projects. You can open subprojects and tabs, make changes, and have your project update with a new render of the subproject. Track freeze is a great feature, but this is something else entirely. Find out more about subprojects in the 5.11 update video. The Reaper 5.1 update brought another essential feature for audio post-production users, metadata search in the Media Explorer. You can now search for more than folder and file names, but also the embedded information for WAV, MP3, and other formats. Find out more in my What's New in Reaper 5.1 video or my recent Media Explorer basic tutorial. Also in Reaper 5.1 was a big change to item stretch markers. We can now add linear ramps between points to speed up and slow down a section with or without pitch shifting. This is so good for tape stop effects. Again, you can find out more in my Reaper 5.1 update video. Those are my top six features added in the past year. What are your favorites? Leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Be a patron on Patreon, help keep these videos coming, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.